Since Coach Ryan Sharkey took over the Grizz baseball team last year, the club transformed from a player-run social gathering into a truly competitive team for the first time. Having the leadership at the top has been huge. You know, in the past it's been player coaches, and it's hard to really get, you know, respect, you know, as, as you could imagine. I mean, so having a coach who's just a coach is, uh, was probably the biggest step in that process. Despite the club's newfound success, there have been obstacles to overcome. The majority of those revolve around funding the team's road trips. We operate on about a $17,000 a year budget, give or take. Um, obviously, we got inflated gas prices, and um, you know we, our transportation. The university got rid of the vans, so we had to up our travel budget a little bit. Playing in Montana can also mean less practice time for the team, according to senior third baseman Cody Anderson. The teams down in Utah, and uh, they get they get to play almost all year round. You know, I mean. We're up here and we got snow until you know, the middle of March, so it's hard for us to get out. We had to do a lot of indoor work at the beginning of the season. Despite the challenges, the team is approaching its goal of earning its first trip to the postseason. However, Anderson knows that it will take hard work for the Grizz to come out on top. You get down to the ninth inning and you just got to have that drive, you know. You got to be able to lay out for balls and you got to be able to hit clutch hits and score runs. Both Anderson and senior second baseman Kyle Amundsen agree that the club has a great team atmosphere. This team, even from last year, has come together more as a team. Last year was mostly you know, just groups of guys coming out and playing. We're now a full team, I feel like. We're one big family out here, you know, we're all brothers, so I mean, that's, that's worth it in the end over anything. And while the team's short-term goals are beginning to come to light, Sharkey has also laid a solid foundation for the future of Grizz baseball. We've got a young group now. Uh, with with some good leaders, and that's you know we're going to build off and around that and keep it rolling, hopefully.